Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. So, those of you that watched this box being made two days ago, and those of you that watched to the very end would have known that there was a little secret giveaway. And the kind of competition giveaway was to guess what was going to be put inside this. So this is actually kind of a two-part tutorial. So it was what was going to be made in today's tutorial that kind of accompanies this, can be made to go with this. Um, I had 79 people comment and um, quite a lot of you actually kind of got it right. So um, let's open it. I'll just tell you what it is. So as you open up, inside here is a travel journal. So lots of you um, put travel journal, you put traveler's notebook, you put um, passport holder, um, what other things, mini albums, all those kind of comments I have put into the drawer, okay? So, um, because there is a passport in this and you can have it as a mini album and I have journaled in it, so it does fall into all those categories. So basically this is what I've made and this is what I'm going to show you how I made today. So you can obviously make the two together. Um, I'm using this, it's already been filled with stuff and I'm actually going away this weekend so I will fill it up with more things. But this for me is, use, is to be used for my tickets. So tickets, flight tickets, um, just bits of paper that you maybe collect when you're on holiday. Um, it might be a receipt for a really nice meal you had. All those kind of things I'll put, I'm putting in here. Now it's still an ongoing project so I haven't finished it all. I've got a little eyelet here and this weekend I'm hoping to look for a nice little kind of charm. I want something oriental to kind of hang down from here. Um, I've got this elastic through the side here, once I open it you'll know why, and then I've got my other piece of elastic through this hole here to close it. Now it is going to get a bit bigger, um, but I thought this makes a lovely gift. So you open it up, and you can see on the front here I've covered it with the same stickers that I've used on the front here. Um, I've also die cut these binoculars that I have, this little suitcase, and I've distressed it all. And I also have a collection of very old stamps, all been used, a lot of them have been franked, and um, like here you can see, and um, they just give a really nice travel kind of touch to your projects. So you open it up, and inside here, basically it is full of tuck spots. So what I mean by a tuck spot is these things here. So just little areas for you to literally tuck in. Now these are journal cards. So they've got explore, um, happy, pack this, boarding. They're all travel related, boarding pass, um, the world is your oyster. And these are all for me to journal on. So I've put a load of them already, already distressed in the front here for me to pick out. This one I've already journaled on, so I've just wrote, this is a ticket when we went up the um, Shanghai Tower recently, um, and I've just attached it onto there, and I've just wrote a few notes about it. I've got little bits here, I've stuck. I've just stamped tickets, and I'm going to show you how to make these tuck spots and how to make the album, but in terms of decoration, I'm going to leave it blank. So the person that will win this will have the blank one, along with this was the one that I made two days ago, so you're going you're gonna to have this one. And that person is, until I, before I go through all of that, I've already done it and I'm going to bring it in here for you to see. So this is using the YouTube random comment picker and the winner is Hannah M. And she put, I think you will make a travel journal to go in the suitcase. So well done Hannah, if you can send me a private message over on the Mixed Up Craft um, my Facebook um, page, not the group, or if you do on the group, just make sure it's a private message, I'll get either way anyway, um, just with your address and I will get that posted out to you next week. Okay, so um, I'm away this weekend, but I'll get it posted out to you next week. So yeah, there we go. So Hannah M, you have won this. Thank you for entering. So let me just show you the rest of it here. Inside the next page, I've got some flight tickets to um, oh, Gulin where we went in China. Um, I've put other little bits here, this just says explore. I've got a little um, paper clip there. I've put a plane on this one. Again, more stamps, nice little tuck spot. Um, now, you can revert to my mini album tutorials and you can have extras in these. You can make more kind of pages and have photos and stuff in it. But because of the, it was quite narrow and thin, I thought this was quite good. I've got tickets there to a temple that we went to. Um, again, just added more. And then I've got more tickets. That was to a river cruise. But I'm going to have more around. I just need to kind of pull them all together. And then in here, in this elastic piece, it's just handy for me to add other bits to it. And on this one, I've got our little um, Disneyland pass 
passport from, from when me and my mum went recently to Disneyland and you had to get stamps. I still need to fill out the few bits in it actually but we got all of these stamped from the different places around the park. And there's uh, Tron which was an amazing ride anyway. And then in this one I've got the map from when we went to um, Galen which is here, Galen, Gwilin. Um So again it's got little things marked on it, restaurants that we went to. And then there's our Disney Park tickets, so I've just popped them in there. In fact, I might pop them on the outside there and then I can put more inside and I've just got laugh. Got another tuck spot here, more passport and flight tickets, another tuck spot. So every page is a tuck spot. But also two of them at the top here are big deep pockets. So you can put stuff inside there as well. You could have a little mat um, that you pull out of that as well. Again, revert back to my other tutorials and you'll get to see that. And then the back is actually free, empty at the minute, so I'm gonna show you how to make a tuck spot and I'm gonna stick that one in there. And then my back page, I'm gonna leave for the minute until I've got more bits to add to it. So that is what we're gonna be making. I love this and I love when they get really big and I want it to get more distressed and kind of, you know, tattered and stuff. That's what it's all about. And for me, it's just going to stay in here and it'd be on my shelf. So it's, you know, it is a mini album. It's something I can go to. It's kind of a bit of a junk journal as well. Notebook, it's, it's all those things in one, depending on how you want to use it. Okay, so I've been talking long enough now. Well done, Hannah. Let's get into the tutorial. So, oh, let's grab all these pieces here. This is what I've been using. And I've still got a squeaky chair, so apologies. <laughs> let's bring in this. Okay, so, like I said, it's a narrow um, mini album, this one. So I've already gone ahead and distressed all of my card. But for the main case, you need two pieces that are five and a quarter by nine and five eighths of an inch and along the nine sorry along the five and a quarter you want to score at one and a half okay you want to do that on both pieces fold in half and I'm just went around and distressed them all on the edges and I'm using the um, Ranger distress oxide Tim Holtz vintage photo okay so get them all distressed and then basically one is going to go over the other so this is the front it's going to go like so and that's our case okay so on one of them you want to oh no you want to corner punch the same yeah if you do i'll corner punch the other edges there okay so you have two that look like that so that's that then this mini album has six pages okay so one two three four five six each page is seven by nine and a quarter. Along the seven inch side, you want to score at three and a half. Again, fold in half, burnish, and go around and distress. Make sure you distress everything before you stick it down. And you want to do that so that you have six pieces. So that's all mine, all ready to go. And there's how they will look as pages. And like I said, two of them I've left open. You could have all of them left open if you wanted to and have them all as extra little pockets as well. So when we get to that bit, I'll show you. Then for our little kind of hinges, our mechanism inside so that the pages turn, this is a piece of three by nine. And along the three inch side, you just want to score every quarter of an inch. So a quarter of an inch, half an inch, three quarters, one inch, then one and a quarter, one and a half, one and three quarters, two, then two and a quarter, two and a half, and two and three quarters. Obviously you'll score all the way down like I have there, so you'll just have this piece like so. Okay, so that is everything. That is all the cards you need. Um, it's very, very easy to do. The time consuming part is the decoration, but what I will do, Hannah, is I will throw in some of these stickers. I have a couple left. I'll give you some of these stamps here and some of my own stash as well of stamps. And then if you do want to do the same as what I've done, you can do or you can use them on another project. Okay, I did share links um, to some. There are some really good Amazon sellers and eBay sellers that are selling tons of stamps and um, travel stickers for like two, three pound. I think one of the links I put up there was 50 for 2.99. So yeah, I mean, they're just handy to have around because they do make nice gifts. Okay, so all of this stuff is burnished and ready. So before we can put all that together, we need to make our little mechanism, our hinges. So these are all these um, score lines that we've done. Turn it on its side, and you wanna do the first score, um, 
burnish it first, first of all so you're creating a valley fold. Okay, so there's our valley there. So that's our first one. So fold it right over and just burnish like so. And then the next fold, you're going to... No, sorry, then you're going to miss... Yeah, then the next fold, you're also going to make a valley fold. That's right, sorry. So now you will have that shape. Okay. So we've got that one. First one that was done as a valley. And now the next one's done as a valley. But you've created this kind of look now. Then the next one you want to bring down so you're creating a mountain fold. Okay. Then a valley, so fold up. Okay. Then another valley. And then a mountain. And then a valley. another valley, a mountain, so it's every, every second one and then that was a mountain and then a valley and a valley. Okay, so you should have a valley fold at the very beginning and at the very end and then Basically what you're doing is you have your two pieces facing up and then all those mountains, you have three mountains in the middle, we're going to stick them together. But this one here sticking up is one page, then this mountain here is your second page, third page, fourth page and six. Um, fifth. Why did I? I said it's six pages. It's not. It's five. <laughs> okay, I will edit that in because you don't want to waste a bit of card because I've got this piece now that I don't need. Why? I thought there was six. There's five pages. One, two, three, four. Yeah, five. Okay, so if we now flip it over, you will have these four flat pieces. Now, if you put a cross on each of them. I'll just bring that up. You see? So there's the flat bits. And then inside here are valleys. You see? One, two, three. You should have three valleys or mountains depending if you flip it over. In these is where we're going to um, I'm going to just use my wet glue. So you just want to go along and glue inside and fold it over and what it will then do is bring the two crosses together you see and it's now made this hinge this page along with this outer one so we've got one two hinges there but inside you want those two flat pieces the two crosses to come together so the next two which is that valley Again, run your glue along, fold it over, and then when I open it now, I've got my three crosses together. So now that last valley you want to stick together. Each time I'm just putting glue on one side, you don't need to put it on both, otherwise it will make a mess. Okay, and then just pinch it together. And I do this same way in my um, other mini albums, so again I'll pop the links to those in case this isn't making sense, because it's a little bit complicated once you know what you're doing but it might I might have explained it a bit better in the other tutorials okay so now we've got the four crosses now all together but when I turn this over you want these to be able to fold in both ways both directions fold up your fold in your two outer sides but now we've got our one one two three four five hinges and that's what our pages are going to sit in and then this whole piece will get stuck inside that spine on our little 
mini album, travel album, traveller's notebook, junk journal, <laughs> whatever you want it to be. Okay, so now grab our front and back, okay, you want to turn one around, okay, so that they go like so, and again, so this is my front, so on the inside of the front one, my glue and then this piece is going to sit on the top right up to the score lines I'm just going to turn that over and just spread out all the glue like so so you want the front to be that piece there and then the join is at the back but you wouldn't see you know you can't tell that and there it is now once you add your mats and your layers which I'll tell you the sizes of those but obviously I'm not going to do them I'm leaving it blank um, it will all give this more strength so although that's 300 GSM it's obviously still quite flimsy for an album but once you add your mat in here and on the front and then you start adding your stickers and all your embellishments and your pockets it becomes very very strong as you can tell with my one that I showed oh here you can see how much stronger this is now it's solid okay so that's that piece now going back to this bit here this is going to stick inside and you want to have an equal top and bottom it's about a quarter of an inch okay and again you'll have a quarter of an inch from this um, score line here on your case and here okay so I'm actually going to use um, my red tape for this as well as tacky glue just because this is obviously going to have a lot of pressure on it and basically you're sticking this over all the ones with the X on them so just all the flat pieces on the back okay and then just make sure that's all nice and secure and then the wet glue will just fill in any of those gaps that the red tape obviously can't get to so I'm just going to take off all the backing and as I've mentioned in a lot of the tutorials when I use the craft card, because it's very fibrous, it kind of drinks the wet glue. It's, it just absorbs it very quickly. So, you know, yeah, you can, you can add a lot more of it than maybe you would on other card projects. Um, and it kind of absorbs it and it disappears. So it's, yeah, it's quite forgiving when you're using glue. Especially Tombow, which can get quite messy, but as long as you've got one of those glue... Um, glue erasers, so I've got the Siron one here, these are brilliant, um, yeah, and you're, you're good to go, okay, so I've just popped it all on, so it should be two inch, it should be an inch wide, your, um, your uh, base here, again, just so you know that you're, you're doing it all right, and then just holding in the sides, and again, by adding that glue, it gives me a bit of wiggle room, come way too far up there, as long as you've got it as even as even as you can get it see I'm even I'm a little out there but it's fine I can live with that or well, Hannah can live with that <laughs> once you've got everything in it just go over and burnish it all underneath each of your pages or your hinges sorry like so and then just bend them all the other direction like that and again and the, the craft card can withhold this kind of pressure and you know you're really kind of manipulating the card it doesn't crack you can see now I've got three really nice um, five really nice hinges there okay so now they're ready for our pages so our five pages like I said I've done six why I think initially I thought that's what I wanted to do but it wouldn't fit for some reason and basically what's going to happen is just like my little mini white album that I done with all the flowers on it the in the opening end here is going to go on one side and then on the other and there is your page okay so to do so now if you want to keep them all um, as pockets what you need to do is add tape all the way down the outer sides so you only need to do it on 
one side though because you're folding that over so you just do an L shape okay and then take off in fact what I do is I think I'm going to do every one as a pocket for you Hannah um, because you can always just not use them if you don't want to um, so there you go so like so and then pop it in make sure you've got an even amount overhanging the top here and the bottom you can also you can always line it right up in fact I might do that I might just line it right up actually what we're doing you do have to do it on this side because this is sticking on the other side of your hinge so you do an L shape and then just one strip up the side like so okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way up like so so I've lined it up with the bottom of my hinge here and then stuck that one down so that side is stuck on that first outer hinge and then just bring the other one over and it will just stick nicely and just go over again make sure it's all stuck and there you have it so then the next one if you don't want them to be open then you just put um, tape along the top piece here but again you just want to go down and do the L and then also up the other side on the long side okay so now I can use this page as my guide but I know I'm just lining it up with the bottom of each hinge so again sliding that one in fold that hinge over onto the page and then bring that one over like so and there's two pages okay and each has a pocket on the top just pinch the top there as well so just go through now and do that on all of them like I said if you are not wanting to have pockets then you run your tape along that top bit there as well as long as the L that we did before so I'm going to go and get the rest of mine stuck down okay so there are all my pages you can see it's all nicely concealed all along the bottom there and all on the back and all along the top and it's all nice and straight and every one of these is a nice little pocket there but if you don't want it just pop a little bit of tape or glue just inside and just squeeze it together so there is that so grab this piece i'm going to add the elastic on as well so this one just opens up like so and that will sit how oh, nice that sits inside there so let me just grab some elastic okay so we need to add a hole so because it's an odd number it's five i think i put it in the middle of the second one was it one two yeah the second one so one two so in the middle of this one here just get it, I'm eyeballing it, but you want to get it in the centre. I'm just using my punch, um, hole punch there, screw punch, sorry, by X Cuts. You can find the links on my uh, blog under the tools I love, the things I use, something like that. I always forget what I called it. Um, and it's got links to that there. So, and then I just done another hole just next to it, just to make it a little bit bigger. The elastic that I'm putting through. I can't remember how much I use, so let's just as you imagine it's going to get quite big and you want it to obviously hold it nice and tight. I think about from there. So that is it may change, but at the minute it's 13 and a half inches. Then you want to knot it like so because you can change, you can easily make this smaller. Pop it together like so. Go from the inside and just feed it through. It will come through like so. 
no nope, that's just right so 13 and a half and that will allow now for that to obviously get thicker as well and it's still holding you maybe could do 13 I'm just thinking I could go down it again Hannah I'll leave it for you you can easily undo that knot but um, it does go around there just right it's about the same as my one um, but there you have it so to mat and layer um, let me just pull in my one here so they're all the same for every page so you are going to need so it's three and a half by nine and a quarter okay so you would need one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen okay so 14 pieces of that size then for your spine it's a piece of one and a quarter by the same length which was nine and a quarter okay so that is what I've used there now to make a tuck spot so I've got some card do keep some scrap that there it is there okay so I've got this one here pop that one in there for the minute and bring in my stamps so what you want to do this one's going to go in the back here so three let's do Will that be the right kind of height I might need another piece of scrap I'm going to use this piece that I've already distressed a little bit this was that spare page I had okay so basically we want to have a corner um, let's cut this piece just cut it down so I'm going to have a height of five okay so five by three and a quarter yeah perfect okay so five by three and a quarter and then I've just got I've got tons of these I've got tons of bags these are my miscellaneous ones but I've got them all in categories so I've got sport I've got faces I've got buildings I've got Christmas I've got all sorts Easter ones there's some really nice ones but these are just kind of miscellaneous ones so I thought I'd give them a go and like I said they have all been used so they don't have their stickiness anymore but all you've got to do is just I just added some glue on the back now depending on what side you're putting your tuck spot so this one is going on the left so I'll be sticking to the left if this one was going here I'd be sticking to the right that makes sense as you see me build it so I'm going to stick to the left here giving myself a little border and then let's use this one here I like looking at where they're from again as well this was December I wonder if that was more of a Christmas theme one there it doesn't look particularly Christmassy medieval mummers anyway let's use that one and that one is gonna ha go like so try and keep if they're really good images I try not to kind of you know lose that and just start to build up a little scene just a fun little stamp scene I don't really like to cover the wording either of where they're from because obviously this is all about travel so it's nice to see where these stamps have come from and then you want to start to create like a curve for your tuck spot so I'm starting to slowly go off now and that one can be like so and then what's this one here this one looks fun 15p that looks like an English one just an angel and that one's gonna again carry on straight like so choose this little brown one go there and then let's have this one here right to the top and what's this one Zimbabwe I just love they're all different that one can go like so okay so I'm happy with that and then what you want to do is with your scissors and you can use anything, you can use travel stickers for this, you could use die cuts, it will work with anything. Just giving it a same kind of even border, just roughly fussy cut, I guess is what I'm doing around the outer side. And there you have a little tuck spot. And then just to kind of keep it all matching, I'm just going to distress my all the edges there. And then I just because not all the edges are all stuck down again it all kind of distresses it and just takes off some of that real white colour 
okay, like so. And then on the, the corner that you're sticking down, so in this instance it's the left hand side, so I need to run tape along this side and this side. So it will always be the, the two straight sides anyway, because you would always fussy cut on the other. And then that one. And this is just a really easy, quick way to kind of add. But because I wanted just this to hold tickets, that's why I've just got tuck spots. If you want to make more proper pages, then have a little look at my other mini album um, tutorials, because you'll definitely be able to combine those pages with this. So let's just move that all up there for a minute. And then this one will go and line up. like so and there I have my tuck spot all ready to put more tickets in and I'll probably do the same with something on that side there it depends what I find this weekend I might find some cool bits to put in there anyway but it's pretty much done and I really really love this it's just full of memories and dates and it's just handy to go to if someone says oh I'm thinking of going here or there and I can say oh hold on a minute it was this much and yeah we went to there and I can look at my maps and yeah just it's just really really fun so that is it so I hope you like the tutorial Hannah I hope you like your plain um, album to just you know design however you want along with your lovely little suitcase there again all ready for you to add your stickers to and personalize and I'll just bring in my oh, hit everything bring in my one again and that one sits in there and I've got room for it to become a bit more bulky um, but otherwise it's ready to go and just sit on my shelf now and collect dust <laughs> no you know what I mean it's uh, it'd be appreciated so there you go so I hope you've enjoyed this kind of two-part tutorial I will add the link to the box on this tutorial and I will add the link of the mini travel album whatever to the other tutorial so you've got them all together there but yeah there it is so hope you've enjoyed it guys please give me a thumbs up again well done Hannah please just send me a message and I'll get that sent out to you next week and um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already um, there's always lots of great ideas great designs and hidden little giveaways until next time guys thanks for watching bye